Hey, how's it going? I know I have covered 10 top uh, countries and uh, some of the expenditure when it comes to research and development uh, of different governments. Since I um, happens to be that I'm uh, in UK right now, <laughs> it happens to be. Although it might be worth taking a look at the expenditure when it comes to research and development and what's happening with the UK. I think it's about 2.2 or so. Uh, but uh, I was trying to find the uh, pull up some most recent data and uh, let's try to understand some of the expenditure and what's happening within the UK uh, based on the, some of the work that was published very recently about some of the changes happening. In 2022, the Office for National Statistics changed the method it used to produce estimate of research and development spending, which led to a substantial increase for its figures. Of course it did. <laughs> of course it did. Of course we, we keep changing descriptions and we keep changing those methods. <laughs> Why would then there be a way how all the nations are uh, taking a look at uh, some of the expenditure, right? And it would happen to be that UK could use the same one instead of inventing new ways of uh, measuring those kind of figures. But either way, so... <laughs> uh, so, okay, let's uh, keep on reading this, <laughs> this article and see what that led to. <laughs> Method is used to produce estimate of research and development and spending, which led to a substantial increase of the figures. For example, the estimate for research and development spending in 2019 increased from 38.5 million, it used as an old method, okay, to almost double, 59.7 billion under new method. So they have changed it. So UK overnight, we just so happened to be spent almost double on research and development. <laughs> Using this new method that has revolutionized, right? So we're not focusing on the actual what they're working and how they're allocating some of that capital. We're not focusing on that or about some of the great things uh, that UK might be able to uh, discover when uh, applying some of that money, right? What they're looking perhaps increase those figures. <laughs> Juicing up some of those numbers. <laughs> People like to call it in the gym, right? So we're juicing up, a little bit juicing up, and if we can, right? <laughs> Using this new method. Total spending of research and development in 2021 was 66.2 billion. Okay, so now we're definitely somewhere around doubling it. The government has set this. It quotes for around 2.9 percent. <laughs> I, I think so. Again, these figures. Uh, so, if I were to take a look at Wikipedia, that would be about 2.2 uh, percent of RSD, and uh, most of the countries looking to increase to about 3 percent, right? So, look at uh, Wikipedia, compare against all the other countries, right? But this is uh, some of the work that was published by UK's uh, House of Commons, right? So again, so based on this report, the UK is at 3% <laughs> of GDP, <laughs> which exceeds its target. Of course it exceeds. <laughs> we just changed a couple definitions <laughs> and it exceeds <laughs> our oh, oh, target what was set for 2027. Here you go. Uh, we have a great administration staff working for UK's government that I'm really proud of. <laughs> we just exceeded all the targets. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, work that uh, I'm reading now, uh, I can attach more information in the description for people who are interested. Is the Commons Library Research Briefing that was done on 11 September 2023, so roughly about three months ago. So some, some of that work was done about roughly, and they have put together this research work where they have exceeded all the targets that was set for expenditure within UK. I don't know. They, I don't know. I don't know, perhaps it's one of those uh, pr propaganda campaigns, right? That UK is spending so much on that, right? <laughs> Compare against other nations. 2.2 .2, uh, uh, would be Wikipedia. If you ask me, uh, some of those <laughs> articles that was published, we are exceeding at 3%. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to read these kind of publishments, right? Uh, since I, I personally believe uh, those are very important, particularly 
when it comes to perhaps setting an example, right? So when it comes to management of a budget uh, for of your own company within, within different governments, what they're doing with those governments, it's I, I don't know what what uh, what kind of things they're looking to achieve with this kind of expenditure. Uh, I I can take a look at the history and try to understand about some some of the things that they're trying to achieve or, you know, with regards to perhaps some of the government spending too much on the research and development and you know, bankrupting some of those governments there perhaps it's something that they're looking to achieve other than that uh the my own personal perspective would be when it comes to your own personal budget uh, budget and allocation of the capital that your company is able to generate and how much of that should be allocated for research and development perhaps would be more productive uh, <laughs> uh way of allocating of your time right focusing on those kind of things perhaps would be about five percent about ten percent of your gross profits uh and uh so money coming in and uh, money going out right so out of hundred percent perhaps roughly about five percent would be allocated for research and development work but i thought it would be worth taking a look at some of those governments and how they <laughs> allocating some of that money but I, I'm not sure if I can give enough uh, credibility for some of those articles in the way how they're publishing some information up there. <laughs> Defining research and development. Research and development spending is analyzed according to internationally agreed Fracati method for collecting and reporting on research and experimental development. Named after a town in Italy where the original organization for economic cooperation and development guidelines were first proposed in 1963. The Fracati manual used the following definition of research and development. Okay, okay. Creative and systematic work undertaken in order to increase the stock of knowledge. Okay, that's a powerful statement. Including knowledge of the humankind, culture and society, and to uh, devise the new applications of available knowledge. Okay, good. For an activity to account as a research and development, Activity under the Fracati definition, it must be novel, creative, or uncertain, or about what the financial outcome will be. Okay, we went, or we might need to venture in unknown, right? <laughs> or systematic and or transferable, reproducible. So, okay, so. We're taking a look at uh, perhaps intellectual property, what would be classification as intellectual property since, uh, again, different regions might have different definitions, what we would be classified as uh, patentable or uh, intellectual property and those definitions. So they, uh, from this, I'm reading the same uh, published work, right? So then we look, uh, take a look at definition again. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we are not looking. I, I thought it would be a very interesting statement to share. So that's all the reason why I read it. But I'm not entirely sure if we're not looking at inflated numbers. Yourself, if you are interested in learning more, I have published a book uh, that would be a way uh, how you can learn more about livestock enterprise and everything. What would you yourself you would need to know when it comes to starting and launching your own first business if it's not something that you have done in the past. Particularly within this book, I'm focusing on the first milestone. I have tried my best in sticking with the format of uh, roughly about 100 pages, what was way too much information, so I expanded to, to over 150 pages. <laughs> so it would be a quick read, I guess, at least that was my intentions, right? Within this uh, first milestone from working from zero, it perhaps it's not something that you have done in the past, Progressing to a first 10,000 euros dollar spawn, and so I thought would be a great uh, way of uh, establishing your business and sharing a lot of knowledge. You can find this book in QR code in the corner or company's website below.
Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's credible work, so I, I would uh, <laughs> rather not read it or share uh, the, any of that work, uh, other than perhaps uh, leave a link in the description if it's something that you are interested in reading for yourself and uh, something that's happening within UK. Feel free to do it in your own time. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.